What's up guys, it's Grinny here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how you can copy trade 100X meme coins. This platform is the fastest on the market, so you definitely don't wanna miss this one. As always, please subscribe down below, smash the like button, and obviously if you'd like to support the channel just a little bit further, become a YouTube member and get early access to these videos as well as other perks. Lastly guys, I do have a sale on my trading group where you can join me and other callers who are trading every single day across meme coins, altcoins, futures, DeFi, airdrops, you name it, we have it. We also focus on education and we run weekly live streams. You can sign up using the WAP.com link in the description below. Here is the tutorial. how to 100x meme coins with copy trading. TradeWiz, it's an insane bot, guys. Uh, gonna dive into that tutorial today. So obviously to get stuck in, uh, let's briefly touch on why it is advantageous to use copy trading. Now copy trading is where you have really good wallets that you follow, okay, whether you find them in specific meme coin trades or you've just been following them for a while, okay. Uh, so TradeWiz allows you to copy trade these really good traders uh, automatically on their bot. And as you can see here on the screen, guys, it is one of the fastest copy trading uh, bots out there. So I'd highly recommend it. And again, it does have every other asset that you would like when you're looking to trade meme coins, so limit orders, okay, sniping, uh, altering your settings, etc., etc. So we we'll dive into that in today's video. Now, obviously, if you're looking to sign up for it, come below in this link in this video, guys. Come down here, trade with there, bang. You can sign up there, or alternatively, you can come to my Twitter page, click on my link tree, uh, and then there it is, there, trade with bot. Once you uh, click that link, it's either gonna open you up like this, okay, from YouTube or obviously from Linktree, guys, and open up in web and then bang, this is what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna run through this. It's gonna be quite a detailed uh, video because we wanna focus and I wanna make sure that you guys understand uh, what copy trading is and how this bot actually maximizes that, as well as some other features that this bot has that a lot of other bots don't have out there, including smart money trackers. So it gives it gives you all in a one package. So in other words, you can do analysis through this bot rather than having to find uh, wallets online elsewhere. You can use TradeWiz to find these smart trader wallets and then copy trade it directly through TradeWiz. So sign up in the link down below, guys, if you're keen. Uh, as it says here, guys, uh, the fastest trading bot, okay, supporting two second transactions. And this obviously follows through with their copy trading. Now, obviously once you're in, Okay, uh, it's gonna give you, uh, uh, which I haven't set up yet, but you've gotta have your wallet. So wallet, uh, it's gonna allow you to start. So if we just put this in uh, at the start, this is what the start page looks like. Bang, okay, it's gonna give you a wallet. So like normal guys, you'd have to come to your fandom wallet. Okay, so if I just log in and I'll send some Solana over just to show you how that works, okay. So bang, let's log in. Okay, so I've got some soul there. So I wanna copy this wallet address like normal, go to my phantom address guys. I'm gonna send some Solana. So I'll just send five soul. Uh, so put my address in, put five soul and next and send it over. So it works just like any other bot out there, guys, where you can send directly to your wallet. Obviously, if you wanna look at the blockchain, you can click transaction, uh, but Solana is very fast. So hopefully it goes through very quickly. Okay, uh, so again, if I just go start, it should be there already. And there, bang, five Solana is in there, guys. So that's how you deposit, really simply. And then obviously, if you're looking to withdraw, click wallet, guys, okay, down the bottom, and you can withdraw or sol. And then obviously, you can export your private key as well from that uh, point there as well. So that's how you can uh, use all your safety and, and deposit and withdraw using TradeWiz. Now, let's go back to the start, guys. Okay, so once you're in, okay, these are the settings that I'm currently using just for simply sniping and trading meme coins, okay? So default is at 30% uh, because you're obviously uh, copy trading, so you wanna be making sure that you're looking to uh, get into that trade um, once that, that good wallet does buy or sell. Gas fee at 0 0.005. Um, up to you how you trade that um, and what level you wanna have that at. I have seen more aggressive people have it at 0 0.02 or 0 0.01. It's up to you. If you find that all of your transactions are failing, then perhaps bump it up to 0 0.01. Again, if it keeps failing, go up to 0 0.02. Um, but I keep it at 0 0.005 and I haven't had too many issues with it uh, so far. So obviously, 
as you can see, enabling MEV, which is obviously just a protective uh, mechanism, it may cause the transactions to slow down or even fail. So uh, I actually don't have MEV turned on for this. But so once you've done that, guys, you've obviously deposited some in. This is what we're going to be looking at today, the copy trading features and the smart money uh, analyzer. So I put in the contract for Moon Day because that's obviously been the one that has gone crazy over the past uh, about three weeks now. And as you can see, it has come down from 163 million, but it did go from literally zero to 330 million in the space of a couple of weeks, which is just crazy, right? Now, what you want to do, you copy the contract address from Deck Screener, like normal guys, <clears throat> You come back over, you paste it in here. It's gonna show you a few things, okay? So it does show me, now obviously this is before I had uh, deposited my Solana like we showed you before, but obviously if I wanted to do it, let's just do it again just to show you what it looks like when I do have Solana in there, bang, okay. Got five sol in there, so if I wanted to buy it, okay, I could buy certain parameters here down the bottom or buy X amount, 30% uh, slippage, or you can obviously change your slippage if you are just looking to trade, okay? So something like this, I probably will drop the slippage down because I'm just looking to buy it. Now, as you can see, low risk for safety score, okay? It is renounced, it is burnt, so they do have a little bit of safety uh, tutorials there. It does give you the deck screen a link as well, which is amazing. Now, <clears throat> where this bot separates itself from a lot of bots out there is this smart money function. So you click on smart money guys and you can do this for any meme coin on the Solana blockchain. Then it's gonna show you this page. So essentially what it's showing you is the best wallets that have bought okay, and sold for profit in this specific meme coin. So obviously, as you can see, we've got Moondank here and these are the top wallets, okay? And as you can see, this person made 1.8 million, the second wallet made 1.7, third and fourth made 1.6 and so on and so on, okay? So the top, I'd say about 15 wallets here, all made over 500K in this specific meme coin. So that makes it really easy to then dive into specific wallets. So let's have a look. Now, if you click it, now you do have to make sure that you do give the bot about 10 seconds in between uh, transactions or sorry, in terms of commands because it does take some time to generate the, the profit and loss of these particular trades. So, or traders, sorry. So once it opens it up, that's the top wallet that made obviously 1.8 million. Now, as you can see, they haven't done anything over this past seven days. Now, what makes this amazing is that you can use it in other analyzers. So two analyzers there that you can use for Telegram. Uh, and alternatively, you can click last 30 days. You can look at transaction records as well. So it's amazing, guys. This bot allows you to analyze different wallets on their actual bot before actually copy trading specific wallets. So let's look at the last 30 days. As you can see, they made a lot of money on Moondeg. They made a small amount of money on Billy and they actually lost a bit of money on these other trades. So for me, I wanna be seeing them make a lot of money across a lot of different meme coins. So something like this, I probably am going to fade. And as you can see, win rate 33%. Okay, they only traded 12 in the past month and PL is not that high. So for me, I probably fade this. So let's go to the second one. And this is what I mean, guys, okay? This is allowing you to look at some of the most popular, the most trending tokens right now and actually dive into some of these potential plays. Uh, so last seven days of the second wallet, guys, look at that, win rate at 15%, okay? So that's an easy fade. So you can do analysis like this, guys, and then find some of the best wallets out there. So if we dive into this, okay, this person, yes, they made 1.7 million, but their win rate is only at 23%. You want their win rate, if you're following a wallet, ideally, it has to be better than 50% because that means they're at least winning more than they're losing. And that way, if you're copy trading a wallet that's over 50 it's more likely they're going to win over time rather than lose. However, someone like me who is very much an aggressive swing trader, okay, loves to have a good risk to reward entry, I wanna see a win rate up in that 70% range, okay? 60 maybe, but I wanna see 70% and those are the wallets that I'm looking for uh, when looking to copy trade them. Okay, let's look at the third one just to, again, show you an example. So I click the third one, guys. It's gonna pop up down the bottom. Now let's have a look, okay? This person has traded one other token this week and they lost 95% of their bag. So it then, it then shows me, okay, perhaps these wallets were insiders, okay? Perhaps they got lucky on Moondang, which a lot of people do get quite lucky when they make a lot of money on meme coins. But as you can see, guys, over the past 30 days, this wallet has a 50% win rate. Okay, so that's better than the other two wallets. They made 1.6K on Moodeg. They have made 20K on Pesto, which is one that I've swing traded as well. So that's a more positive sign for me to maybe keep an eye on this particular trader compared to those other ones that we were looking at before. Now, obviously, once you've got a wallet that you wanna be uh, copy trading, and one that you wanna be obviously looking to follow and activate your copy trading bot on TradeWiz, what you do is you go forward slash, okay? Forward slash copy trade, bang. 
and then you prompt it, okay? You send through that command, and what it's going to do is going to allow you to copy trade these wallets and essentially set all the parameters, okay, so that you can buy and sell when those wallets buy and sell. So uh, quick details, indicates a copy trade is active when it has the green tick. Orange means it's not active, uh, so in other words, it's pause. Uh, tip, copying addresses for fast and high volume transactions may increase the risk of financial loss. So this one here is really important, guys. So some of the best traders out there actually trade just purely on volume, okay, and purely on pump.fund tokens that are released immediately and are dumping within the, like 10 seconds to a couple of minutes, guys. So do follow wallets that aren't aggressive traders, okay? You wanna find wallets that actually consistently get in low and consistently sell at high levels, okay, but aren't just actively trading thousands of transactions every single day because that does run uh, the potential, as it says here, for the risk of financial loss, but also your portfolio, if you're a smaller wallet trader, you probably don't have enough Solana to cover the gas fees, the slippage fees, okay, over and over and over again if you're doing hundreds of transactions every single day. So something to be aware of, guys. So if you wanna add a wallet, Click out of wallet. And now let's detail, let, like this is a lot of information, but I wanna make it really simple for you guys to understand. So to set up a new copy trade, you obviously can make a unique tag or name for that wallet. So say it's one that you found on Moondeg, you could just say Moondeg Pro Trader, okay? And that way you can keep up to date with all the traders. Or say it was someone that made a lot of money on Michi or someone that made a lot of money on Whiff, okay? You could just add that. Or say you know it's Ansem's wallet, say you know it's my wallet, you could type Greeny or possibly Ansem, okay? Those types of things. Now obviously, Enter target wallet, okay, so you're obviously gonna put the wallet in there down below and I'll show you what that looks like. Enter the percentage of target buy amount to copy trade. So are you wanting to trade with one Solana every time that wallet buys? Are you wanting to trade with five Solana? Are you wanting to trade with 0.1 Solana? That's what that means, okay. Uh, buy means max buy, so how much do you want to max buy for one particular trade? So say you've got a smaller wallet, you probably don't want to be going over one Solana per trade, particularly if they are on the more active side. Okay, total investment Solana is the maximum you want to spend in total for copy trading. Again, you can allocate maybe 20 Solana, okay, or 10 Solana or 5 Solana, depending on how big your wallet is. Um, and for example, if you set that to 0.2 for max buy and 2 for total, then you'll spend 0.2 Sol each trade and max when 2 Sol of the buy is reached, you won't won't trigger any more trades. So that is amazing, guys. It has parameters in there to allow you to not go too degenerate if that wallet is starting to manipulate uh, different things. So always be aware of that, guys. If you do find good wallets out there, often they do know that they are being followed and sometimes they can manipulate it and make those people following them actually lose more money than make money. So definitely be aware of that as well. So the fact that you can set parameters around that is amazing, guys. Um, so each token buy time, so if the other party buys the same token multiple times, you can set the buy time. So for example, if you just wanna buy it the first time, okay, you can set it as one. Okay, if you wanna buy it two times, so say they may be DCAing, in, DCAing into a place or dollar cost averaging into a meme coin, then you set two times or three times, up to you, okay? Again, just be careful because again, they might be looking to wreck the people who are following them. So always be aware of it. I'd say maximum three for that for me personally. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm a different sort of traded to some of these people who are looking to copy trade. And as same here, guys. However, if the other party sells the token and buys again, you will continue to buy. So that's um, really good clarification there. So if they buy, 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 that's different to buy, sell, buy, sell, okay? So if you do obviously have it set as buy for two, then it's gonna go through twice. If they buy a third time, okay, you're not gonna get that third transaction. However, obviously if they buy it once, but they sell it, okay, and then they buy again, it still will work, okay? Now, here we go, auto retry. So automatically retry when copying a transaction fails. So each transaction can be retried up to a maximum of three times. So that's always good too as well. Well, so you make sure that you can uh, have it uh, trying again if it does fail the first two times. Unburned is when the liquidity pool is unburned, which means the project is probably a rug. So you can tick that, guys, to make sure that you're only getting into tokens that have been burnt, a case where the liquidity pool cannot be touched. And that way, the, the person or the trader or the dev who is in that specific meme coin can't dump it on you even when you're walking away. Uh, toggle on copy cells allows you to copy the cells of the target wallet. Same again, you probably wanna make sure that you're selling when they buy as well. So buy and sell. Uh, click add to create and activate the copy trade and due to characteristics of the Solana blockchain, copy failures can occur in very rare cases. So obviously be aware of that guys, it's not 100% fool's proof, so it does happen. Now, as we just said, here you go, bang, you can see all of the, the parameters. So that's where you would obviously add the name. That's the wallet that you're looking for. Again, here you can have all your minimum buy, your maximum buys, okay? Your total investment. So for me, I probably really would only wanna trade with copy trades, maybe with 10 Solana, so I'd allocate that. 
buy times, yeah, I'm happy for them to DCA into it three times, okay? Buy times, reset after sold, yes, I probably do. If they do wanna get in, maybe you do wanna activate that. However, be careful if this wallet that you're trading is quite a degenerate and they're getting into low cap tokens, then perhaps you maybe do wanna trade that, uh, turn that off because if they do buy back, then perhaps they might not be buying at the best risk to reward situation. Unrenounced buy, unburned buy, you can turn those off. So uh, that, that way you wanna be getting into tokens that are renounced, okay, and that are burnt, so be aware of that. And again, bang, you can have copy, pump, true, copy, radium. So if they're dropping just purely on radium or if they're cop, uh, just dropping on pump.fun, you can have, like this is what, it, like TradeWiz is amazing, guys. You can have all these parameters and set it up the best. And the best part, like we spoke about earlier, is that it's so fast as well. So again, run through all these in your own time. Okay, sell position ratio, uh, number of sell positions. So you probably wanna make sure that that goes through my, uh, like nice and high. Auto retry, like we spoke about before, maximize that um, if you are looking to get into the trades that this wallet is doing, particularly if they do have a really high win rate. This one here, pump slippage, you probably do wanna make that quite aggressive uh, because pump.fun can literally 2X in the space of five seconds. So you probably do wanna make sure that's quite high. Normal slippage, uh, 30%. I, I have found that's not too bad on Solana, but obviously be aware, again, if they're aping into a radium uh, pool that's just dropped and that's maybe at 50k, okay, 30% of 50k is only about 15k. So again, it can move up quite quickly to 65k and you might miss that potential buy. So be aware of that. And obviously, if you do want to um, have anti-mev, which obviously just means that different bots can't then track you and manipulate your transactions, you can turn that on. I'd suggest if you're looking to copy trade, you probably want to have that turned off. And lastly, guys, if you want to obviously uh, push your transactions through even faster, you can increase your, your buy and your sell gas fee. Uh, for me, I've always left my buy on the lower side. However, in tokens, you want to be making sure that you definitely do get out, okay, for profit or in validation. So you definitely want to be making sure that you have your sell gas maybe slightly higher than your buy gas. So hopefully that gives you all of the information, guys, about how to copy trade. The last few things I just want to talk about that this bot can actually do everything else like you've seen on many other bots. So copy trade shows you positions, okay? Like we showed before, it, we, you can look at the smart money. That's amazing, okay? You can analyze all of these addresses, okay? Punch them in, see whether they're winning or losing more often, okay? Which ones they actually uh, went into. You can dive on the blockchain even further if you want to follow that wallet and see their time, uh, their trading consistently over time, whether they're actually making money over the past couple of months or six months or a year. Okay, buy or sell like normal guys. You can set limit orders, okay? You can auto sell when you wanna have take profits and stop losses. So this bot covers everything like you normally do guys. It just has these added features where, which really separates it from a lot of bots out there. So definitely do look to sign up for it in the description below guys. Uh, or alternatively, go to my Twitter page, go to my link tree, like I showed you before and it's just there, trade whiz. And obviously if you have any questions guys, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, this bot is definitely one that I'm going to be using consistently moving forward and I'm definitely going to be recording more videos on it coming very soon. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, guys, in the comment section down below. And again, thanks for watching. Cheers. So there you have it, guys. That's how you can copy trade 100x meme coins. If you like my content, please subscribe down below, smash the like button, and obviously, if you'd like to support the channel just a little bit further, become a YouTube member and get early access to these videos as well as other perks on the channel. And lastly, guys, I do have a sale on my trading group where you can join me and other callers who trade cryptocurrency, meme coins, old coins, futures, DeFi, airdrops, you name it, we have it. Sign up using the what.com link in the description below. As always, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.